Welcome to the different climates of the Big Island of Hawaii. When you think of Hawaii, the first thing that comes to mind are palm trees, beautiful lush green valleys, and white sand beaches with crystal clear blue water. But did you know that four out of the five major climate zones can be found on the Big Island of Hawaii? There are five major climate zones on Earth. They are tropical, then there is dry, which is semi-arid or desert, temperate, continental, and polar. The five climate zones have a total of 14 subzones, which the Big Island has at least 10 of the 14. And we are using the Köppen scale. One of these major climate zones do not belong. And the first thing comes to mind when it comes to Hawaii is polar. But guess what? Hawaii does have a polar climate. It is the continental climate that does not belong. Hawaii's Big Island has a wet side and a dry side. The west part of the Big Island is the dry or leeward side, which the precipitation average is less than 30 inches a year. The east part of the Big Island is the wet or the windward side. The yearly precipitation average is about 150 to 300 inches a year, or about 380 to 760 centimeters per year. On the eastern part of the Big Island, you will find rainforests and jungles. But on the western part of the island is where you find more desert-like conditions. So why is there a stark contrast between the eastern part of the island and the western part of the island? The trade winds bring moist air from the northeast, and as it hits the mountains, the air cools, thus creating clouds, and produces massive amounts of rain on the east side of the Big Island, leaving the west side of the Big Island drier. Here's a little trivia. Which photo is Hawaii, and which one is Wyoming? The answer will be in part two of the Big Island Climate Series. In part one of this series, we're gonna be talking about the arid and the semi-arid climate of the Big Island of Hawaii. The arid and semi-arid zones is located on this 60 kilometer stretch on the northwest part of the Big Island. It stretches from Kona to Kapa'a Beach. Now these are the semi-arid areas of the world. You can see that the majority of the western part of the United States is semi-arid and also parts of Australia as well as China and Mongolia. The semi-arid zones tend to get twice as much precipitation than deserts and also contains more shrubs and grasslands. Now here I'm going to show you some footage of what the semi-arid area looks like. And you can actually see on the map here the route I'm going to take on parts of Saddle Road and parts of 190. The semi-arid area is to the left of the yellow line. Now the semi-arid section of Hawaii, which is in the northwest part of the Big Island, gets less than 30 inches or 76 centimeters of precipitation each year. The mean temperature of the semi-arid areas in the Big Island of Hawaii is around 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit or about 18 degrees Celsius. Now here I'm driving on Saddle Road and I'm nearing Highway 190. You can see the transition between two climates, going from the temperate climate to the semi-arid climate in a matter of a few kilometers. Now this is off of Saddle Road just before Highway 190. This is the transitioning point to where it goes from temperate to semi-arid. Okay, this is the area where the semi-arid climate zone starts. And you can see right here, there's nothing but grass and some small bushes and hardly any trees. This is actually near the intersection of Highway 190 and Saddle Road. This footage of the semi-arid zone just north of Saddle Road off of Highway 190. And this is facing towards the west. This area gets less than 30 inches or 76 centimeters of precipitation each year. Now this 25 kilometer long by 10 kilometer wide stretch of land here in yellow is the true desert or arid climate zone. This area is called a true desert and it gets less than 10 inches of rain each year or 25 centimeters. Waikaloa village and Puako lie in the desert area. 
Now here on Highway 190, just south of Waimea, is the transition point between semi-arid and arid. About two kilometers beyond those trees is where the desert starts, or the arid climate zone. Just a few kilometers north of Mahai Ula Beach is the desert. This area near Puako on Highway 19 lies right inside the arid climate zone. Stay tuned for part two of the Big Island Climate Series.